In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a pair cam that is perfectly uh, parametric and has just a perfectly smooth curve. Um, I learned this uh, here in Kansas City at the PLTW Summit Conference, um, and uh, somebody showed me the, the math, and I think I'm going to explain the math here, and hopefully I can explain it in a way that we can all understand it a little bit. So let's take a look at the dimensions of the snail cam. Uh, this is as given to us by Project Lead the Way, and you can clearly see that we have four distinct curves that are building from our least radial dimension all the way to our uh, greatest radial dimension. And what I would prefer is for us to have just one smooth uh, curve that is building all the way out, that helical curve that when we graph it will give us a perfectly linear graph from 0 to 360 degrees when we, we make that. Uh, so we're going to do so in Inventor with an equation. I'm going to start here in Inventor by just making a 2D sketch, uh, put it on this plane here, and we're going to make sure that we're going to draw a couple of construction lines, some circles that are going to give us our least and greatest radial dimension. I'm going to make this parametric by typing in DIA, that's setting a um, a function that's naming that dimension D as DIA for diameter. I'm just going to set it equal to 1 for right now. And then I'm going to do the least radial dimension as half of that. So I'm going to type in DIA divided by 2. And you see I've got two construction line circles. They're going to help uh, give me my extents of my minimum and maximum on that, that curve for the snail cam. So once you've got your construction line circles, we're going to come over here to line and we're going to go to uh, equation curve and we're going to change this to polar and um, I'll explain this fully in a minute but I'm going to go DIA divided by 4 times T uh, plus DIA divided by 4 that's our offset I hit equals plus DIA divided by 4 uh, and then on the the degrees we're going to set uh, T times 360. And you can see I've got that perfect curve coming in already. I forgot to uh, make that not a construction line, so we undid that construction line. I'm going to uh, finish off that by just dropping in a line in between there. And again, I'm still <laughs> not in, uh, still have that being a construction line. Um, what you'll notice here is you can it's not constrained, and I can just kind of drag this around, which is pretty annoying. So I'm just going to toss on a couple of coincident constraints here to the uh, circles. That's really why I built them in there. Um, I can toss in, quickly toss in a circle here in the center. I know, bad CAD, but whatever. Uh, we'll put that 3 sixteenths of an inch, and I can extrude this whole shape. Uh, we'll do that 3 sixteenths of an inch, and we'll make sure that that is going in both directions. And there's my my perfect snail cam. Uh, to show you the power here, you can go to uh, the Manage tab, Parameters, and I can see that DIA one. I can just quickly change that dimension, uh, let's say 2.5, hit Enter, and you see it's going to update automatically. Um, it just works. Um, Next, I'm going to show you what I think that really means. I'm not quite a math person, but I think I can explain it. With the caveats that I'm not a math guy, and it's been 25 years since I've done anything with the polar coordinate system, I think I can explain this a little bit. So um, what we have here is what we actually want to move from is we think about our starting point and our ending point. And let's change the color here. So here's my starting point, and here's my ending point. And that starting point is really just one quarter of the diameter. Um, so that's going to be this diameter divided by four, that offset. And then really the, the distance that I'm moving is from a quarter of my uh, diameter to a half of my diameter, or you know subtract those two. It's just a, a quarter of my diameter. And then um, when I'm moving that, I want to move from zero to 360 degrees so I use this times t 
and you'll see, also see that you use two equations where the other one is t times 360. And those two equations essentially are combining to move us from this point, the offset point right there, uh, to use it, adding essentially one full rotation and moving it uh, positively one quarter uh, of the diameter out. So we could change the dimensions on this, and I, I think I'll go back into the inventor and show you one that's changed. So let's try and make a snail cam with a different uh, slope, a different uh, curve. Uh, so I've created two uh, circles here, my outer diameter, and you see my inner diameter now is about a third of my outer diameter. So I'm going to make a, an equation curve. I'm going to put it in polar. I'm going to make sure that uh, my starting point now is going to be right here, uh, which is really like, since the, the diameter is a third, I'm really looking at uh, like the diameter all the way across from zero out to here is really diameter divided by six. So that's my offset, DIA divided by six plus, and then I want it to go really like two thirds of this radius or a third of the diameter. So I'm gonna put plus DIA divided by three and then I need to go times T. And then the next one, I need to make sure that I go uh, T times 360 and you see, I get a perfectly sloped curve from that point all the way out to the edge. So from my least radial to my max radial uh, dimension. And of course, I had on construction lines, so we'll turn that off and we'll finish it off with a line. And we'll extrude, oh, of course, that was still on <laughs> construction lines. There you go. Uh, always turn off your construction lines. Uh, and we can just extrude this thing um, and let's just extrude it, uh, three sixteenths. Uh, there's no hole in it, but you get the idea. You can, uh, make your own snail cams very easily. Uh, you put your fillets on there, put the hole in, uh, it's all based on equations. Uh, you can teach this to kids. You can explain it. Go find a math teacher to really explain it. I'm going to do that when I get back. Uh, but I hope this helped.